Mohammed may only be 21 years old, but he has already saved dozens of lives. He is one of the only lifeguards in Gaza. Even during the war with Israel, when the beach was deserted, he would still come down to check if anyone was swimming. I love the sea. I think I love it more than anyone else in Gaza. I have lots of good memories of the sea. It is my whole life. Mohammed hasn't received his salary for three months, yet still he comes down to his hut every day. He says his job is made more difficult by the Israeli blockade, which stops essential lifeguard equipment from being brought in. His only life-saving gear is a pair of flippers, a Baywatch-style lifebuoy and a whistle, which he bought himself. Every morning before the war, Mohammed taught swimming lessons to Gaza's children, and one of his former pupils now volunteers with him in the afternoons. He is the one who taught me, who trained me. He used to pretend to drown at the beach and would tell me what to do to save him. I've got all my experience from him. The beach is the place where Gazans come to escape the horrors of the war, the only place where families can come to have fun, and it is certainly safer with the two Mohammeds watching out. The sea is the only place in Gaza where people can breathe. We're in a big prison and have been for eight years. Prisons are usually small, but we have a big one which is still closed. The borders are all closed. We can't move. Our life is terrible. The lifeguards know they have to keep the area safe, so Gaza's war-affected population can have one place to relax and wash off the troubles of the past few weeks.